Hey YouTube, uh, the Breakman17 here, or Shane as some of you might know me. Uh, Happy New Year's 2013. Woo. Uh, survive the apocalypse. All that fun 2012 stuff. Um, I'm not going to go through much of an introduction today because uh, I'm going to go through most of my Christmas stuff today on this video and uh, show you some actually pretty cool stuff towards the end of the video. So I'm going to just start cranking it out. Uh, one of the things my mom got me was this. It's a flashlight. But it extends and bends at the top. Probably one of the more helpful things in terms of flashlights. And then to make things even better, let's see if I can get a piece here. A little piece of metal here. The top is magnetic. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then I don't know who got me this, but it's a key. I don't know if you can see it there. And then a knife pops out of the middle of it there, like that. And uh, actually, I've used that quite a bit. Um, if you guys watched my last video, I joined a modular train club. Well, shoot, I guess I just put my video up a couple days ago. So probably most of you haven't seen it. But if you watch this video and you haven't seen it, you should go back. But if you have seen the last one, um, I've used that key a lot when we were out at the train show. Ooh, yeah, right before New Year's, so this past weekend. Um, for Christmas, I didn't ask for much. Um, actually, one of the things I did ask for, I happen to have it right here next to me, is the Digitrack Zephyr. Fairly good to do that. And I love that thing. That thing makes it easy to program. Um, that's one of the things I asked for. But uh, one of the other things I asked for was uh, money. A lot of money because I can go and buy a lot of good stuff at the train shows. And uh, there was a guy out there. He was uh, an older gentleman. He was selling uh, used in scale uh, rolling stock. I'm trying to figure out what I want to say here. Uh, he painted all of this up. He put a, or didn't necessarily paint it, but he put a weathering and stuff on it. Made it look scratched up and dirty. It's pretty cool looking. I'll show you some of it here in a minute. But uh, he painted it all for his buddy, but his buddy passed away a while back, so his wife, or his buddy's wife is paying him to go to train shows and sell this stuff. Now, he said he's already been to two train shows, including this one this past weekend, but he has one more train show. It's February 2nd and 3rd up in Council Bluffs, Iowa. Uh, it's the Great Train Expo. He said he'll be up there trying to get rid of whatever's left. Um, I highly encourage you go, if you're in that area, and you see this video, you should go look at his table because um, I think I blew most of my money at his table from Christmas because the stuff was too good to pass up. It's perfectly weathered cars, micro trains, uh, trucks, and couplings on it, and for nine, ten bucks a piece. And I was looking at some of the other stands. They wanted, uh, what was it, used trains for like 12 to 15, or rolling stock for 12 to 15 bucks. I was like, um, I'll be back over at that table if you need me. But uh, I guess I'll just go ahead and start digging right into it. Uh, I picked up 14 cars from this guy and one locomotive. Um, the first one is a UP Hopper. I'll put them over in a pile over here. Uh, second one is a Union Pacific Boxcar. A BN Coal Car. A Santa Fe Boxcar. A Union Pacific Boxcar. Another Santa Fe boxcar. I picked up a, quite a few boxcars. Um, two Santa Fe hoppers. Let me get the other one up here. Two Santa Fe hoppers. Running out of room here. A CN hopper, just for fun. And I'll explain why I bought so much Santa Fe UP stuff. A BN uh, hopper. Uh, an ATSF old style caboose. And then, this is the one I'll show you. It's a uh, Santa Fe uh, boxcar, but I'm going to show you some of the weathering. He scratched up the top a bit, and then I don't know if you can really see. Oh, I guess you can. It gets a little bit darker down here near the bottom. That's all that paint, so it looks like it's dust and grime and stuff like that. He did a great job. Um, some of the couplers are painted orange, just rust and stuff, but um, I sat there and talked to him for most of the show. Really nice gentleman. Um, said... 
uh, said he does HO scale. Didn't know much, not much about in scale, so I sat over there at his table and helped him quite a bit during the show. Um, I forgot two other ones. A Missouri Pacific boxcar there. Uh, it's got some good ground across the bottom of that one, too. And then, if you follow any of my videos, if you're any of the 32 who have viewed my train review, one of the first videos I put up, um, you saw I put up an ES6000 Union Pacific locomotive and then a uh, bulkhead flat car and a caboose. Well, because I'm an in scale, the HO stuff doesn't really fit me anymore. So I took the, um, the two rolling stock up there and traded it for a Montana Railink boxcar. And I took the locomotive up there and he gave me 75 bucks for it, which is awesome because I didn't lose much money on that one. It's uh, better than what I was, uh, well, better than what I was willing to lowball it for. I was willing to let it go for 50 but when he said 75 I had to take it. But um, that's on my train show stuff. Oh, and then from that same guy who sold me those freight cars, I picked up a Union Pacific, uh, I think it's a GP30, GP36, 38, something like that. Uh, that one's also weathered, too. Um, a couple other things I forgot to mention earlier. They're sitting right here next to me, and I forgot them. Uh, my girlfriend, being as awesome as she is, and she listens to me because she's the best, she got me the Unstoppable soundtrack from the whoa, movie Unstoppable. If you've seen it, you should like the video because this is a really good movie. And the soundtrack is equally as good. Um, I have a video I'll put up later, and I'll probably put one of the soundtracks up. And then I have an uncle who uh, got a hold of one of these. It's a Kansas City Southern... Is it upside down? No, it's not. Okay. It's a Kansas City Southern timetable. Um, it's a couple months old. It's back from, or it took effect back in October of last year. But um, I'll still take it. I mean, fun stuff. Uh, great condition. Has all the lines in uh, America. None of the Mexico or um, Panama lines, but it's pretty cool. I can, uh, I kind of like to look at those whenever I'm not doing anything. Um, what else have I? Going through. Oh, um, because I joined the club, I've been needing a certain controller. Whoa. I'm going to go ahead and throw my controller first of all. A uh, certain controller to take up to the club to run trains. And uh, my grandfather and I were both members. And um, he doesn't have the controller either. So we decided if we find one cheap, we'll pick one up. And um, we found two of them up at the train show. And within an hour, an hour and a half of the first uh, day, one of them was gone. We picked up the other one, thank God, within 30 minutes of the show starting. But it's the Digitrax uh, D... Lord, what is it? Oh, DT402 uh, D. It's a duplex radio-equipped uh, remote. And uh, I think I'm probably going to do a second video after this one because I want to show you guys some features and stuff on this one and... I'm going to do a split screen so you can see me using the controller and running a train at the same time. So I think I'll put up a second video today of me doing that later. I guess this one will just be Christmas updates. Um, what else is there? Uh, show went really well. I went to the show with a hundred and something bucks and I got 75 for that locomotive and I think I walked out of the show with like 21 bucks. I kind of blew all my money, but it's okay, because I have money coming in right now, so. Yeah, I have some money coming in from my parents and whatnot, because I'm a good kid, and I help out around the house. Um, oh, other thing I got for Christmas. It's kind of scattered across. I don't know if any of you have seen it. I'll probably turn the camera around here in a second, and I'll show you my uh, workbench, is what I call it. It's uh, basically a ledge in front of my window, where I set my computer and do these videos, or work on trains and whatnot, but uh, I got a Santa Fe SD24 locomotive for my grandparents because they are awesome. I love them. I have the best grandparents in the world. But uh, an Atlas SD24 came with a lens decoder, which I'm not a fan of lens, but saves me the trouble of having to buy and install a decoder, so I'll probably end up switching it to Digitrax here pretty soon, though, so that was weird. Just drop one eye. And Talk to you with one eye open. But uh, it runs pretty well. Not fast, but pulls quite a bit. So, um, What else? 
I'm trying to think if there's anything else possibly I got for Christmas that's within the area that I can show you that won't get me in trouble. I got stuff for Christmas. I got a throwing axe for Christmas. It's pretty sweet. Um, Digitrax stuff. Yeah, I think that's all the stuff that's around here. That I got for, oh! This happens to be behind me. I guess I'll show you this. I got NHL 13. Um, I'm really kind of torn on this game right now because um, for so long I've only played NHL 09. So I haven't had any of the new, uh, like the frostbite generating stuff. and So that game's definitely been a challenge because trying to adjust to the newer uh, running systems on the game and whatnot, it's kind of a pain in the butt. But I'll get it eventually and I'll become a pro at that game. I'll probably start playing that more than I play Battlefield 3. Um... I think that's it. If you've seen any of my videos, you know I go through this phase right at the end of the video just to make sure I have everything shown. Um, the train show went fairly nice. Um, I'm not real sure because I'm shooting this before I decide how I put this up because I usually shoot my videos and then throw it all together afterward. So I don't know whether I'm going to put my train show videos at the beginning of the video as an intro or at the end of the video. Um, if I put it at the beginning, then you've probably already heard one of the Unstoppable tracks and you've probably already seen the videos. But if it's at the end, you have something to wait for because it's good stuff. Um, one video is my train coming to a stop over one of the river modules. Which, uh, if you do watch that or see it, that guy, uh, the guy who built those modules took six months to build three modules, it was a uh, that river module was just one piece. The other two uh, along the sides of it are just kind of because uh, if you saw it, it's a mountain. The other two are just kind of rolling back down to flat land to it. So if you're like joined with other ones, it wouldn't look like mountain, mountain, mountain drop off city. So, but uh, he did a great job. He's uh, I got to meet all the members up at the club too. They a lot of really cool guys. Um, if you're in the Kansas City area or the Liberty, Missouri area, um, I highly, I would say advise, I, I ask of you to come stop by the, uh, clubhouse the first and third Saturdays of every month or the first Sunday of every month, um, the first Sunday is meetings, the first and third Saturday are... Uh, workshop times or when we work on the layout uh, sometimes I'll be in there running well most of the time I'm running the other two guys are working on layouts or little stuff that we're getting ready for a train show with um, yeah I think I posted the website on my last video so if you go back the websites there uh, the address is on their side I think and you should be good to go there alright that's it I'm positive this time that's it so, uh, yeah, if you're in the Liberty or Missouri, or Kansas City, Missouri area, uh, swing by first or third Saturday or first Sunday for the meetings. Um, we would love new members. Even if you don't have any trains of any sort, you don't even have to be in in scale or anything train related. We'll help you get started. And I mean, I came into the club with a beginner's circle of track and... Now I have three different locomotives with DCC, and I, now I just multiplied my rolling stock by about four with all of those cars. And then I have new Digitrack stuff, so. And I've only been in the club for about two months, so. They'll help you. They're uh, great guys. I recommend you stop by. If you do stop by, I'll probably be in there. So if you recognize me, say, hey, I've seen your videos. I'll be like, high five, and we'll run some trains or something, so. Yep, that's it. We'll talk to you later.